Are you recording this? Matter of fact, I, I heard you talking about that um, ULTY. Mm -hmm. I I bought that this morning. You did? Yeah, oh, I did. Oh, good. I'm buying tomorrow. I, I buy on the next day. That's when I buy my. I was up, um, let me tell you. Yeah. What, what's, your th what's your take on it? Well, so far, I, uh, there's not that much news on it. Um, you'd have to see how other people yeah. think about it. But um, uh, let me tell you. Let me, let me bring it up. I'm up um, a couple hundred dollars on it All right. today. Yeah. Did anybody? Yeah, um, $229. Nice, and nice, 50. man. Hey, you just yeah. opening your position. You're, you're starting out, opening position. Yeah. Next, well, next, next, I, Maury, I know you. Next thing you know, you're gonna put like a thousand share in there. <laughs> I have thirteen hundred shares now. <laughs> thirteen and thirteen hundred and fifty, be exact. Oh, wow. That's why I, I guess I got that much. But see, this is uh, you know, so we're talking about ULTY and uh, mm -hmm. and this is why ULTY is is so popular. You know, like. Um, uh, you know, one thing a lot. Somebody asked me, I haven't made any video on Tesla in a long time. You know, they're like all in on Tesla, because Tesla is kind of like there's a lot of there's a lot of funds out there. It's not that I don't like Tesla. It's just a lot of funds out there, and so exactly. so now I'm talking about you know all these other funds because, um, and that's why I haven't I haven't made any video on Tesla in a while. But ULTY is is like this is my darling right now because I got to grow my third week, and. And so when you look at ULTY, is number one, they, they can own the, the stock, like Clip. So Clip own the actual stocks. And they do cover call strategy on it. And then sometimes they do synthetic cover call on it. So they have option to do whatever they need. But when you, look, when you scroll down to the holding, then you realize this is what makes it special. All these holding here, they own all these companies. Some of them I recognize very well. Um, I recognize, I don't know much about Chewy. Uh, I had to Google some of these guys. Like, um, and, then, and if you click on the, uh, on, the, on the spreadsheet, they will give you more. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see it because I, I don't have it set up right that way. Uh, CLSL, uh, SK, Kavana, you know, uh, they own GCT, GR, GRPN, Labu, LAB, Marathon. Uh, they own Riley, Riot. Riot is the uh, crypto. First, I thought it was the, the gaming company, uh, <laughs> Riot, but this is the crypto one. SMCI, if you're into microchips and stuff like that, uh, you know, they, they own a lot of... Okay, I just name a whole bunch of them. You know what, what they all have in comments? They're all high volatility. Um, right. And high volatility mean the premium is going to go up on uh, the uh, on the option trading. Okay, so one of the questions I asked, maybe somebody know this answer. Maury, if you know, that's awesome. What makes something high volatility? Is it is it because you, you, the fear of being bankrupt? Or is it, or is it the fear? Of, what makes something high volatility, you know? Like why why does one company has ninety ninety percent volatility and the other company only have like ten percent volatility? That's crazy. What 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 make it volatility? Well, I I believe it's the price of the the stock itself that it keeps moving. Yeah, and that's what makes it volatile. You know. Mm -hmm. So if, if the um, if the price is higher, so it make it more volatile. Well, if well, I guess I guess it would if if somebody wants it lower, you know. Can, can you, can you has, maybe can you explain what you mean by? I guess I guess you may have to clarify it. I, I don't understand well, what you mean. Well, they they go by, and if somebody knows it, correct me. Okay, I I assume that it's the the, the price of the stock that's volatile. Naturally, if it goes up, I know there's somebody who wants to bring it down, uh, and that that's what that's why you get the movement, mm -hmm. you know, um, and that's that's what I know. Now, if anybody knows anything else, please chime in. 
Um, it has to do with money, that, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know the answer uh, to this question. This is something I might have to Google. Uh, Matt, do you? Yeah, go ahead, Matt. Yeah, look, it gets a little bit technical, but it's basically, it, it really represents how large um, a stock's price um, swings around its main price. It, it, it's, um, it's basically the beta. Um, on a standard distribution, it, it's worked out that way. It's pretty scientific about how it happens, but again, it's just math. Um, and, and, and that's sort of what dictates options pricing, mm -hmm. you know, um, like look at MicroStrategy at the moment, it's well into the hundreds, um, single hundred uh, percent volatility. Um, there are others that I've seen seven, eight hundred percent volatility. It just means it can fluctuate wildly within a, a given trading session, the prices of that particular stock. Um, you know, the banks don't really have a high IV or volatility because, you know, they're pretty steady and, and on she goes. A bit like Coca-Cola and a bit like Apple now. There's not high volatility in those stocks because they don't move very much in a trading session, you know. Whereas if you look at Tesla and MicroStrategy, like it's not uncommon for them to go up 5, 10, 15%, 20% in a single trading session. So that's what dictates that. It's how much the stock price moves around. It's theoretical constant price, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so what, yeah. oh, somebody gonna explain it? Uh, I'm sorry, who, who's that? I'm looking at a website okay. here, they're trying to explain the volatility, there's a whole formula of things. Uh, and it's interesting. I think one of the things when I, when I stop working, one of my free time sitting around drinking beer in Bali, you know, just chilling, I'm probably going to try to plug this formula in and to see if I can calculate volatility of stocks and stuff like that. I want to learn how to do this. It's just, it looked fun trying to figure out what, what something is volatile or not. And uh, according to this uh, wiki how, uh, stock volatility is just a numerical indication of how variable the price of specific stock is. However, stock volatility is often misunderstood. Some think it is referred to a risk involved with owning a particular company's stocks. Some assume it referred to the uncertainty inherent in owning a stock. Neither is the case. For investors, it represents an important measure of how desirable it is to own a certain stock. Based on investor appetite for risk and reward, here's how to calculate stock volatility. And they go on to calculate stock volatility. It's interesting. Um, yeah, but you know, this is how yield max and option trader uh, you know, they, that's, this is why they picked it. Okay, so they picked these guys for the very reason that they generate the highest volatility in the market. And obviously not the higher. I think one of the highest, like AMC and stuff like that. So AMC's not in here. But it's it has to be, I think it's, I think it's not a company going to face bankruptcy. It's just a company that's doing, that doing okay, but there's a high volatility. You see startup company, I like that. When I look at the list, a lot of those companies, it look like they're all... Um, you know, what's called disruptor. These are innovation disruptor and stuff like that. You know, when you look at Carvana, and Carvana is trying to disrupt, you know, the, 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 the business model for, for car dealership. Uh, and when you look, when you look at CSK, uh, they, they, they essentially do mining and they also uh, go after the, uh, the, the, the battery. Uh, I mean, that is, you know, these are what you, most of the stock, it seems like they all belong to Kathy Wood. So if you like Kathy Wood, you're pretty much going to like ULTY because a lot of the stock is is all innovative type kind of stock, disruptive kind of stocks. Uh, the, these are, you know, break out in their sector, in their own community. And um, I hope I'm using the right jargon. 
here I am trying to talk business term and business jargon. Am I am I using the right term at least? Disruptor and innovator and stuff of like that? Do I sound like Kathy Woods? <laughs> it it doesn't necessarily need to be that way. Yeah. It could be a relatively small cap company that has been able to carve out a niche for their market and yeah. that could make it vol volatile. Yeah. Um, what's one I can think of? It Are you asking me to help you think? No, I, I won't be able to find one, man. <laughs> you, you, you're on your own in that one. <laughs> my, um, my computer just decided to shut itself off, so I've come to my phone. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Um, Alex Carp's company, somebody all in the audience there will know it. Yeah. It, um, well, the only one I can think of is AMC. <laughs> AMC is a movie theater in the United States. I don't know. Do you have AMC in, in Australia? What what movie? No, it's um. <laughs> oh, we have Hoyts and Village really Roadshow and all those sorts of guys. But uh, right. yeah. Um. Yeah. So because of the volatility, uh, okay. Let's 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 peel the onions even more. Let me just show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go to option trading on Tesla, so you can understand why volatility matters, all right? Here's option change. And so this is how we, because this is how yield max generate premium. So you understand it. So March 15, uh, let's say my, uh, March 15, or uh, March 22nd, next, next, next week. The price right now is 169. Let's say you put a strike price of 170. It's $5 per share right now, $5, and there's 100 share. So you're essentially making $500 if, if you buy one contract, uh, if you do cover call on Tesla stock uh, at 170, you got $5. But imagine this guy, $11.35, you know, think about, you know, so when, when you have high volatility, what it means is it's not gonna be $5. This thing could be like $8, $10. At one point, I can't remember, I saw Tesla, somebody could tell me this, I thought I saw Tesla at $50 at one point, like $30, $40. Am I right? Is Claude here who trade Tesla or Sam? Some of the guy who trade. I remember looking at Tesla stock one time. They were showing me there was like a forty dollar Tesla, you know, like premium. I was like, what the heck? So think about it. one share is forty dollar, and this is right now it's five dollar. So that's why we're not making a lot of money because the volatility is low. But if this number go up higher, holy cow, yeah. Um, let's say it's forty dollars a share, and and you get a hundred contract. So think about how much money you make in that. Uh, let's look at let's look at NVDY. So so you have an idea. All right. So NVDY. Oh no, NVDA. I'm sorry. NVDA is nine hundred dollars share. Okay. Next week, let's uh, the current price is nine oh eight. Okay. And we we'll, let's say we look at nine ten. So same same setup as I just showed you in Tesla earlier. The strike price is only a few dollar off. So Look at this, it's $46. Tesla is only $5. This is why they're getting $2 premium. It's $46 per share. So every time that Tesla, uh, I mean, not Tesla, uh, every time Yield Max sell NVDY contract, they're making 46. I'm just, I don't know what they, I haven't looked at it, but I'm just giving you an example using the same criteria as Tesla. Isn't, isn't that crazy? But look! Look how look how much it is. Uh, the lowest amount is forty. Uh, let's let's look at uh, let's look at all of them. The lowest amount is nine oh eight. I'm gonna go nine oh eight. From from nine oh eight. So nine ten here, forty six dollar. If you go ten percent, that's about. Uh, you're talking about almost ninety something dollars. So you go all the way to a hundred nine nine almost a thousand dollar and the price is still twenty one dollar. It's still two two or three times higher than Tesla, even if you go ten percent out of the market, way out there. That is crazy. So think about it. somebody buy a thousand uh, do cover call on on Nvidia, a hundred share. You're making buku money right now. Like you're not, 
this thing is nine hundred dollar, and you're putting at a thousand dollar strike price, and you still you still make twenty one dollar per share. That is crazy. This is crazy math right now. This is why. This is why. <laughs> The premium, uh, this is how they make premium. So, and so as a result, uh, well, let, let's look at real quick, Kavana. Uh, I'm just, so I'm just, let's see what the volatility is. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, $70, $80. All right, this is why we're getting such a high premium. Here's $80 using the same, oh, I'm sorry, March, using the same rule, everything apply. Just only a few dollars after the strike price. The strike price is seventy nine. I'm looking at eighty. It's four dollar. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. <laughs> but still, it's just think about it. this is Carvana, and the premium is almost similar to Tesla. That's Tesla, and one is Carvana. Two. I mean, one is a super giant, magnificent seven, and Carvana is barely surviving, and the premium is very similar. Because Tesla Premium is five dollar, this thing is four dollar. That's crazy. It shouldn't be anywhere near each other. It should not be anywhere near each other. But they are near each other. So it just show you that's how yield max generate money, and uh, and that's how ULTY generate money. They they're collecting the premium from all these company they own. All right. So all these company right here. So how I mean, just think about this one here. They have how many share? Uh, 31 share, 175, 206 and stuff like that. They don't have a lot of share, and and but they're collecting good, good premium. So let's talk about how much premium they get. Well, ULTY is paying you a dollar. That's unbelievable, unbelievable. Good, good price. And I because of this, I believe in the future. So next month, so think about it. this thing was only released two weeks ago. Next month. Uh, when it released in April, you know, 15, somewhere around that time frame, guess what? It's potential to make a dollar also because the underlying stock has high volatility. So as a result, this one one thousand dollar is able to keep up. Now the question is, the question I want to know is, how does the stock price? You know, the stock price can can it keep up? You know, so. It's going to pay a dollar. They're going to drop it to 1865. We'll come back up to 1965 in one month. Can it do that? So that I don't know. We we're going to have to find that out. So otherwise, we're looking at just like QQY, just like IWY. The price is going to come down, just like Clips, just like TSLY, just like OALK. As you pay premium, uh, you know, the price is going to come down. Now, does this thing has any mechanism to bounce back up? What what causes it to go back up? You know, so these are the question. I I'm, I'm curious, but you know, hey, you can sit around and wait. Uh, Maury, do you want to say something? No, no, I'm All sorry. Right. So you can sit around and watch me because I'm I, I'm owning. I'm going to own it tomorrow, or you can just buy yourself and just experiment and play with it, and then watch see what it look like three months. There's a lot of people looking at look at us high yield dividends. But they never ever gonna put their toe in it. They will never do it. Like last year, just think about last year. I started with zero dollar. This is the beauty of my portfolio. Zero dollar. Now I'm generating six thousand dollars a month. Why? Because I'm willing to take that risk. All right. So, and I'm on my way to get ten thousand dollars because I'm willing to take that risk. All right. So the risk is on me. Uh, you do you, and everybody do their own thing. Their own thing. Uh, with that, uh, unless nobody have any question, I'm going to stop this streaming. Uh, this no, not stream this uh, recording. Anybody have any question for me? Hey, hey, thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Please comments, and uh, we're we're going to try to monetize this thing and make money and and get rich on that way too. So with that, hey, peace out. Take care. Oh, well. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs>